Hey, how's it going? Macy, Deb, and team at Dobbin DDS. Uh, my name is Jack here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. We are an online marketing and SEO company here local to uh, Colorado Springs. And um, I want to do this video analysis for you um, since you gave us a chance and basically go over exactly what I can see as a search marketer in terms of where I think uh, your website is at, uh, kind of where your SEO is at, um, and do some analysis on that, some of the keywords that you could potentially rank for, and, um, and, and go from there and see what we could do and how we'd be able to help you if we were to tackle this project all together. All right, so without further ado, let me go ahead and get started. Um, the, what I'm gonna do actually is first go over your, uh, your metrics that I can pull up uh, using our tool called AREFs. Uh, AREFs allow search marketers like myself to look at the metrics of a site and see what, uh, what, um, what we need to do from an SEO standpoint. So what I can see right off the bat is that there has been a little bit of SEO work done, and I'm not sure if maybe you've been doing it or someone else been doing it or someone or maybe you've hired another company but uh, there has been some SEO work done um, not a lot but um, some work the reason I can tell that is because this right here this referring domains um, this is a huge integral in Google's current algorithm in determining how highly you rank for the keywords you want to rank for as well as how quickly you rank for these keywords once you have a lot of these in place um, in case you didn't know what a referring domain or a backlink is, it's basically um, any website out there on the internet that um, actually links back to your website via hyperlink. So uh, Google, what Google does is Google crawls through all the hundreds of millions of websites out there that's on the internet and they look for these links. And what, what happens is they'll give you a credit for every single time another website links back to your website. So let's say, for example, there's a blog out there that's called thedentalblog.com, and they make a new blog post, and they say, hey, if you're looking for the best dentist in Colorado Springs, check out DobbinDDS.com. And then that hyperlink, if you clicked on it, would link back to your site. And so web, Google's website crawlers will recognize that link from that website, and they'll give you credit for your website. And it shows Google that uh, when you get a lot of these websites linking back to your site, it shows Google that you're the kind of website that other websites like to talk about. And you're the kind of website that other websites deem trustworthy because they're like, hey, check out this website. Hey, click on this link, right? And so you want a lot of these websites to talk about your website because at the end of the day, it's a huge part of uh, Google's uh, algorithm. And, 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 and where you're sitting at right now, um, you have 19 live websites linking back 33 times. We need to get closer to about 100 to 300 websites talking, linking back about 1,000 to 3,000 times. That's really going to show Google that you're at an authoritative level and you deserve to be at the top of uh, Google for the various keywords we want to rank for. And so um, that's that would be our job, right? So we're local to the spring, so we have a lot of push and pull in the, uh, in the springs area. And so uh, we have a lot of uh, influences in the blogger niche as well as in the dentist because we work with uh, a few dentists in the area. Uh, um, Dwayne Moore at um, uh, Woodman View Dentistry, Dr. Hill as well. And so we, uh, we have uh, push and pull in, in this area and we have an influence. And so we would use that and build the authority to your site and get more websites to talk about your site. Obviously, that would be our job. And then we would take care of everything uh, with your website and your online marketing moving forward from this standpoint. Um, and so you don't have to worry about that. And you can just focus on growing your practice and making sure that everyone has the best uh, experience possible there, right? Um, what I want to do next is quickly hop over to the Organic Keywords tab. Uh, this allows uh, me to look at the metrics uh, of kind of what kind of keywords you currently rank for, as well as some of the metrics behind those keywords. So it looks like uh, there's about... There's a ton of people that are searching for the keyword Dobbin Dental. Now, the fact that there's so many searches for this probably means that there's other um, practices that um, have uh, a similar name to Dobbin Dental. And uh, your, current, your website currently ranks in the number fourth spot. Um, we want to make sure that you are on the number one spot. Now, it's a good thing because you're already on the top five spot for this. But um, just in the nature of user uh, behavior and experience, most people are clicking on the number one spot for uh, the keywords that they want to type into. So you want to make sure you're on the number one spot because if someone's typing in Dobbin Dental looking for your site and uh, they click on another website and they troll through that and they um, uh, you know, go through it for the next five, 10 minutes and, and, and like what you have to say or like what that website has to say, thinking that it's your website and then, and then they decide to call you and they realize that it's a different number out of Wisconsin and then they realize it's the wrong website that they've been visiting for the last five, 10 minutes and then they might get frustrated and me never might actually visit your actual website um, and then, um, and you might lose business that way. And so we want to make sure you're front and center. That would be probably my uh, first goal uh, in terms of our SEO campaign for you. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and move down the line. So Dentist 80906, you looks like you're on the number six spot for that. Dentist Caller Springs 80906. 
fit spot. So uh, these are really um, easy, quick wins that we can get you on the number one spot and bring you more business that way. Um, some of the bigger ones that we want to go after are things like this one, like Dental Office Colorado Springs. So you're on the 20th spot, basically at the bottom of the second page for that keyword. Um, um, Dr. Dobbins, another brand name you probably want to rank for, obviously. Uh, DDS Colorado Springs. Dental Offices Colorado Springs. Dental Offices in Colorado Springs. Giant Mountain Dentistry. So a lot of keywords that you're already getting credit for. We just need to make sure that we can uh, really take your SEO to the next level. And then that's when you're going to really see some jumps in your uh, rankings and really get front and center when people are tapping uh, these various keywords into Google. right? Because um, nowadays, uh, just because of the nature of our society and how um, we behave, um, like me personally, if my, if my toilet's broken, right, I don't know a plumber off the top of my head. That I can I, that I go I can go to, right? Instead of what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my phone and I'm going to type in plumber in Colorado Springs. I'm going to type in toilet repair Colorado Springs. Something like that, uh, and I'm going to find I'm probably going to click the top top uh, three top five that I see when I uh, find that website on my phone, and then and then probably pull the trigger with one of those guys. Um, and that's just the nature of how um, uh, people are finding businesses nowadays. And we, that's why we want to make sure that you're front and center for this kind of work. And this is why um, it's so important to make sure that uh, you do this. And, and this is why I actually really like working in this industry because I can see the value that we provide our clients. And um, not to toot my horn too much, but we are good at what we do. Um, we work with dentists in the area and they're very happy with our services. Um, we get referrals for our other clients um, uh, a lot as well as um, we thrive. Um, at the end of the day, if we're not able to produce results for our, our clients, then um, we wouldn't be in business. And so the fact that we're uh, growing and we're thriving and we continue to provide excellent results for our clients uh, kind of speaks for itself. And I know that um, this is the kind of uh, uh, results that we can do for you as well. And so very confident in what we could do. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll end my little, little thing there. Um, what I want to do real quick is finally just kind of go over your website right now. Um, what I can see right off the bat is I personally personally think it's a little bit outdated. Um, and there are a couple of things that are a little bit off. Um, uh, a lot of this is text, and, and from an SEO standpoint, we do need to clean it up. Uh, like this, the phone number right here, it, it's like it's an icon for this, but we want to make sure this one's an actual phone call. Um, and honestly, the, the, the website serves... Um, a decent job of kind of um, explaining the business and, and going over things, payment, appointment price, and it has a very utility function. But uh, if you look at some of your competitors, um, you're going to see that, uh, oh, in the meet the team page, we definitely want to make sure we clean this up because this is a huge um, trust factor. Someone can, if if people can't see like the faces behind the team, especially in a, in a, in a business and a niche like dentistry where you know people are you're going in there to get your teeth checked and uh and things like that um i we definitely and a lot of heavy face-to-face -face contact um we definitely want to make sure that we have a lot more um to meet the team and make sure we build that out right um but uh in terms of like what we want to do at the end of the day is when someone visits another person's website and someone visits your website we want to be at the very least um uh, the, the website probably has to look just as nice as them, if not better. Because the website, at the end of the day, if you're being found online for these kinds of things, which a lot of uh, businesses are because everyone's kind of uh, on their phone, obviously, as I explained, um, it kind of represents your brand, right? And so just like when you're at the office, you don't want you want to make sure that it's clean, that it's professional, and it's kept, and, and, and tidy and stuff like that. We want to make sure that we have that same image when people land on your website so that when someone... Um, lands on it, they don't think, oh, it's a little bit run down, oh, it's it's a little bit outdated. They want to say, hey, this is really nice, it's warm and welcoming, and I definitely want to go visit these guys and see what they can do and and then see how they can help my teeth, right? And so um, that's the kind of thing that I want to show you. So uh, let me just show you kind of the competition that you're working with. Um, if I were to click some of these websites, It clicked a little too many. Um, yeah, so you can see how like this website, see how everything is um, kind of modern looking. Everything like the images are blown up, and they have like uh, the the doctors right here. 
Um, then this one, you got Dr. Uh, Guerra right here. Some Bluffs Dental. And like the website pages are clean. Northgate Dental, you got the image of them. You got even, you even have a video. That's pretty cool. About us, meet the doctor. Meet our team. Yeah, see how everything's very fleshed out. So, you know, you get my point, right? So, uh, that's the kind of competition that you're uh, working with. And at the end of the day, um, if you want to grow your practice and things like that, these are the things that you have to have in place to really uh, take it to the next level. Now, we can help you with this. Everything I talked about in this video, we can do for you. And so it's just a matter of getting the conversation rolling and getting the ball rolling. And so and go from there. All right. So I appreciate it um, if you watch this video all the way through. Um, I hope at the very least you got some insight out of this. And I would love to talk to you further when you get a chance. All right. Um, so have a great day and thank you.